Project Zomboid is one of those games that doesn't really have an end goal. You either prolong the inevitable or die. The zombie threat never truly goes away. Or can it? Today, I thought it would be a fun challenge to disable the zombie respawn option and to try and destroy every single zombie on the map. Not the entire map, of course, as I value my sanity and uh, the full map is big. But at the very least, we can try to clear out four of the starting towns. Riverside, Muldra, Rosewood, and finally West Point. We're gonna need a lot of firepower, but I think we can truly clean up these streets. I don't know who I am or where I'm at. The only thing I know for sure is that I must kill. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back everybody to a bit of a new challenge for Project Zomboid and that is gonna be, I guess, the, the, the kill everything challenge, right? Which means exactly what it means. We're gonna kill everything and at least four of the, you know, spawn locations, which is Rosewood, Muldro, Riverside, and West Point. And who better to clean out the trash than Claudette Frederick, a veteran who's about to go on a massive killing spree. But in order to do that, we're gonna need some supplies, a few plans, and a little bit of elbow grease. So we've currently started off in Rosewood, which I think is going to be the easiest target out of all of them. And right now, what I really wanna get my hands on is some weapons. There's no way we're gonna kill every single zombie in this town if we don't got the means to, to an end. And right off the bat, we have ourselves a frying pan. While not the best, it'll definitely do the trick. So after I'm done checking this place out just briefly, we're gonna go head outside and start, start it off right. Now, in order to make sure that we are going to be killing every single zombie, I do have a small little helpful tool. A nice little mini-map which tells us the exact location of every single zombie in the area. Not a single one is going to escape is what I'm trying to say. So right now, I don't care about getting a kill count. What I care about is getting some supplies. Though I will take an opportunity to destroy every single zombie on the way. <laughs> don't think you're safe just because I don't have a gun yet, I'm just as dangerous! Yeah, Claudette, don't mess around. So, I, I guess let's begin the path of destruction. I just got done playing with CDDA sprinters, by the way, so shambling zombies don't scare me at all. This is a walk in the park for me, and it feels really good. I I'm literally just gonna casually stroll my way on all the way down to, to the fire station, taking out every single zombie on the way. They stand no chance against me. Hiya! I haven't even walked five foot, and I've already killed 17 zombies with the frying pan alone. I'd say that's off to a good start. <laughs> Keep up that pace, Claudette. Relish yourself in the art of war, the, the woes of combat. And just like that, we made it to the outskirts of the fire station, because I would really like to get my hands on a fire axe. A fire axe right about now would be perfect. So I'm gonna slowly hug the fence here, killing that duffel bag zombies and all of their friends around the area, and sneaking right on in the side entrance. Fight me, flesh bags! Hiya! Oh man, this really makes me appreciate the frying pan, that's for sure. But hey, we got ourselves a duffel bag. Oh man, we're making some great pace right now. Nice, we're in. No alarm either. Beautiful. <laughs> I love fighting normal zombies, dude. But now that we've cleared out most of the zombies in here, I'm gonna go into the back room and see if I can find myself a fire axe. Firefighter gear, a screwdriver, where are the axes? Okay, oh, 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 right there, right there, beautiful hand axe and a fire axe. Give me that bad boy right now. We just got ourselves an upgrade, and what better test subjects than these two idiots? Oh yeah, I love the axe, so good. Our killing potential just increased exponentially. Let's go clear out the rest of this building, and then we're gonna peruse our way on down to the police station, which is literally across the road. Nice. What do we got in these lockers here? I would like a hiking bag if I could help it, but you know, if I don't get it, I don't get it. Yeah, we ain't got nothing, but one thing I can grab right now is a little bit of extra food. I'm kind of hungry right now, and I think some chocolate would go a long ways. We got some water bottles? Yes, we do. Beautiful. I'll be taking some extra snacks for the road, and we're just gonna, we're gonna begin it right, just the only way you can. We're gonna be jumping through the window, taking out the horde right in front of this building. The Undertaker has arrived! Woo. 
Oof. That kind of winded us a bit, so I might take a little bit of a break. But one thing I will check for right now is a key in any one of these cars. I'm gonna need a vehicle if I'm gonna be pulling off a lot of the stunts uh, here. We got a gas can in this one. No key, but we do have some cigarettes. At this car, we have another four zombies to kill. With six free shotgun shells, and do any of you have a digital watch on you? No, no digital watch. We got another gas tank inside this van here. With a key, okay, not bad. I might have to take this van. All we need is a little bit of gas and we'll be all set. Let's take a little bit of a break inside and uh, head up the police station next. Uh, we do have a few groups guarding the entrance, but that's nothing a little bit of fence combat can't handle. Let's see what they got. I am a bit of a force of nature, so it, it, I welcome the challenge. You see how fast I am on my feet? <laughs> uh, this feels great. It's like taking off the training wheels, you know, after so long. I've been fighting sprinters for so long that, that normal zombies, they just feel like, they feel like lemmings to me. I'm feeling very hopeful about Claudette's future here right now. In her zombie slaying degree. It's not even like halfway through the first today and we've already almost killed 56 zombies. So I will say this right now, uh... <laughs> I mean, look at this! I'm just... Oh my gosh, the humanity! I can already feel it in the air, our power level's increasing exponentially. We've already got some heat to pack. Well, we're still gonna be using melee as I kinda wanna keep a low profile for a bit. Anyways, how are y'all doing inside here on this wonderful Tuesday evening? I hope well, because I'm about to turn it a hell of a lot worse! And if you got a key? Yes, we do. Awesome. Let's go check the desks first because there is a chance we find ourselves some equipment in here. Not much, but like a couple of uh, boxes of 9 mil would go a long way for our character here. Uh, bourbon? Okay, that's actually really good. Especially since we have this lighter on top of it. You know what that means, right? Things are gonna get a little bit spicy. Spicy as in, uh, extremely freaking hot. But we'll save that for later. What else do we have in here? A big old locker room with nothing in it, really, other than a few jackets that I could care less about. And more importantly, within this building here, we have ourselves the police station armory. Let's see what we got. Okay, couple of shotguns, beautiful, and even loaded. This one is a little bit loaded. I'll yoink it in my bag for now. Zero weight, nine mil rounds, perfect, perfect. An extra box of nine mil. A box of shoddy shells, two more boxes of nine mil, and some 308. Not bad at all. Definitely not the best though, but I feel like a majority of um, our slaying is going to be from, you know, from the alcohol, which I should probably go fashion into Molotov cocktails right now. So I hate to do this, sir, but I'm gonna need to steal your pants. It's for a greater cause, okay? Because with those ripped sheets, we can make ourselves two Molotov cocktails, which is gonna be uh, devious later. Is that it here? Yes, it is. Let's go check on the parking lot, and then I think we could begin. Sadly, no siren vehicles. That's what I was really hoping for, man. But, you know, it is what it is. At the very least, I can kill every single one of these zombies pretty easily right now. Yeah, no chance. And do any of these vehicles have gas in it? Oh, what the hell? Is that a pipe? Four duffel bag? What? I mean, <laughs> I do love me a pipe bomb. And uh, what the hell? They're just chilling in here with the freaking shotgun and duffel bag. 12 bullets. I'll take it, dude. Hell yeah, man. What? Yo, this car's loaded. Okay, give me the granola bars as well. Oh, man. This person was planning to, get, to, to do the same thing Claudette is. Okay, we got anything inside here? Nope, nothing. No gas, sadly. And in, in this van here, we have a 45 pistol just chilling. What the hell? I mean, I'll take it. Hell yeah, I will. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. When did cars get so damn loaded? Well, uh, there's, a, there's a pretty big group of zombies here right now. Honestly, we're going to save the main massacre for tomorrow. But one thing I can do right now is pull out our M9 and start to get some, uh, you know, get, get some aiming in. Woo! 
Not bad at all. So here's the plan right now. We're gonna go clear out the rest of the zombies at the police station, and then we're gonna go ahead over and get some gas, and then we can begin our massacre when I'm fully rested tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna be sticking to the walls and I'm gonna go check every single one of the vehicles that we can. I I'm still so sad we couldn't find a siren vehicle right about now. That would have been perfect for me. But hey, we got some gasoline right out of this blue box truck right here. Perfect. That is a twiddles wink of gas. I need some more. The good thing is that there is a parking lot in the back of here. Oh yeah, if, if there isn't a single vehicle that has a lot of gas here, I'm gonna be extremely sad. All we gotta do is kill every single zombie in the tri-state area to get there. Bam! Okay, that's all the ones in the, in the back of this area here. There are a bunch in the main areas though, but I'm gonna take care of them tomorrow once I'm actually, you know, loud and proud. For now, I'm just gonna go search for some gasoline. Okay, sadly, the only car that has gas right now is this taxi here, so let's hope we get a lot. Um, wow, okay, we, we, we really don't have that much. Uh, well, it'll have to do for now. Uh, I just need to go back to the fire station, get some rest, and then we'll begin with it later. I don't really care if half this town burns down so long as I can kill everything within it, you know? That's more of a tomorrow type thing anyway. Our first day, we have killed uh, 102 zombies. Pretty good for only 12 hours. Not the best though, but we're about to, we're about to ramp it up pretty nicely. Oh damn, why are the zombies right in front of my place? That's not gonna fly. You know what? I think we could use our pistol to take most of them out here. Uh, let's go fill up our gas tank. At, you know what? I'm just gonna drop it on the floor. We'll pull out our M9. And the way you really get a lot of crit kills is by making them hop over fences. And once they're over, you just shoot them in the back. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. As soon as they're on the ground, it's almost an instant kill, even with pistols. You, you just gotta figure out ways on how to game the system, you know? And this is a really good way to do that. God, I feel like a ninja right now, man. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's done. Oh, 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 I ran out of ammo right there. You, sir, are lucky. Or are unlucky. In whatever way you want to think about it. Goodbye. Nice. Now we can go get some sleep. And now that it's day, we can begin with our first real cleanse. Isn't that exciting? And how about we start off with the pipe bomb? Like, why the hell not? So my plan right now is to grab our van, drive around a bit, lead up all the zombies in the tri-state area to one location. We drop a firebomb, let them burn, right? That, that's gonna be the plan. There's still quite a few in the area, so I'm hoping, you know, with the few honks, horns, snoots, and googles, I'll be able to, 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 to lead them around like the sheep they are. Though we might run out of gas as well. Honestly, what I might do before that is just get a little bit of gasoline at the, at, at the gas station. Yeah, you know what? Let's go do that. But one thing I will do is honk anyway, so I can kind of get them, uh, congregated in one spot, you know? But hey, we made it over, which is pretty rad. Let's go park the car up to the gas pump, stop it, and then pull out our handy dandy fire axe. It's murdering time. Man, traffic's been really, uh, congested lately, huh? Well, at the very least, we can go grab some snacks now. I'm sure, I'm sure these, these, these fine folks within here have what I need. Ooh, is that a, is that a survivor event, by the way? Yeah, look at that. That's a free hiking bag right there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> wow, this is actually one of the most lucky I've been in a while. This is insane right now. Hell yeah. I came here for Twinkies and I found gold. Thanks for the large backpack. Uh, I don't think I'll take the gas mask. I mean, I'll take it as like a souvenir, but you know, nothing else. But hell yeah, we got ourselves the best bag in the game with an abundance of weapons. And on top of it, we even got some gas station food. You know, how, how better could this possibly get? This stuff should keep us fed for the rest of this series is what I'm trying to say. So I'm actually gonna take everything and then shove it inside one of the seats in our van. 
The best thing about this van is that it has six extra seats to where I can just like shove random crap in. So this is perfect for me. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what? We should probably go grab some extra gas on the way as well, shouldn't we? I'll go do that in one second. You know, might as well stay topped off as best as I can be. Okay, now that that's done, we'll go clear out the lower quadrant of, uh, of Rosewood, and then we can begin with the top area, right? I kind of want to do this in, in a way to where we're not, like, screwing stuff up majorly. I'm feeling confident, though. I'm feeling really good. I'll give it a few honks to kind of congregate these zombies together, and I will be back very soon. Don't worry about a thing. I just gotta handle some other stuff right about now. Oh yeah, look at the mini-map right now. It's getting a little bit dire, but I can still navigate between them pretty easily. I think we ought to set it up right at the crossroads. I think that'll be a good spot for it, so... Uh, you know what? Damn, we'll go set it up at the crossroads. Actually, right here will be good. I want to round up every single zombie I can right now. So come on, then. <laughs> Let's see what you got! Claudette has been waiting for this moment her entire life. The shotgun, let's load this bad boy up. It's about to be a war. <laughs> and I'm ready for it, man. Let's make sure we get them all clumped up together when we do inevitably throw our pipe bombs, though. Oh, yeah, look at all these big groups here, and we're just clumping them up in a single ball. This is going to be an inferno, by the way. I'm looking at the zombie clump right now. It looks pretty darn good right now. So good. I think we, we can just begin in a few more seconds. Let's get a little bit of distance up, get a little sip of water. Any last words, flesh bag? Ha <laughs> ha! There it goes, there it goes! Come on, hit, 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 drop, drop, drop! Yeah, baby! Woohoo! That'll get them all riled up, and now we can just absolutely pound them with the shotgun. Let's make sure all of these zombies are getting uh, set ablaze right now, though. I don't want a single one surviving this. And so begins the fun. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, you can, you can smell it in the air, that's for sure. New level of aiming, right that, just like that, man. And look at the look at the flame trail I'm leaving. Ha. Yes, good. Coming closer, I dare you. It's a fun time. Claudette is so fucking cool. I wish I could be like Claudette. Flames, shotguns, and fury. What else do you need than a perfect cocktail like that? Don't you love the smell of fire in the mornings? down like four of these zombies all in one go by the way this is just insane though i think later i might need to install a kill counter that includes flame zombies i think that would be pretty nice right about now because i don't know how many i'm legitimately killing that's a big group of zombies a big old ball and i'd love to know how many i've, I've actually killed with each town you know okay let's go pop open this uh, second box of uh, shotgun shells real quick and we're gonna be golden this also goes to show you, all you really need is one big bomb and a little bit of a plan and you can really put a big dent in zombie pop, you know? New level of aiming just like that. Boom, baby, boom. You know, I feel like this is what every newcomer thinks they're going to be able to pull off when they first play Project Zomboid, you know? <laughs> like, as soon as someone new who has, like, less than three hours of the game finds a shotgun, this is what they imagine it to be like. And right now, I'm living out that fantasy, man. This is fan freaking tastic I'm just gunning them down like no tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying to kill them. Though I think I am almost out of shotgun shells, so... Uh, that's gonna be the majority of them taken care of, though. I'm sure I can finish off the rest of them with just a little bit of melee and a little bit of patience. But let's see how many more shells we got. I might as well use them all. Uh, zero. Okay, that's it for the shotgun. We do have an M1911 that I would love to pull out right now, though. Let's hope it's one shot, one kill. And that it is. <laughs> I mean, we're just gunning them down. Like, no tomorrow. This is so fun. This is why I think I've had my fill of, uh, firing off a gun. I think we can finish off the rest of these tusks with the good old-fashioned fire axe at this rate. There's not much of them left. 
That's gonna be all of them in the town square. What a good day. Let's go clear out the ones within the small building back here. Here's Johnny. <laughs> that actually broke very quickly. What's what's up though? Goodbye. Honestly, I'm pretty happy right now. If I could clear out just like the main square area, like right down in this, uh, the rest is gonna be purely residential. And then we might need to do a few more group callings, but you know, so far it's it's looking pretty damn good. Did you really think you could sneak up on me, sir? Get out of here! <laughs> Holy crap, there's a bunch here. Okay, I think that's it for ammo. Yeah, we have two more bullets, and then I think we can finish them off with just a little bit of melee here. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just clearing out the nearby zombies in the area, and I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm just gonna bulk eat these vitamins while sitting down, so I'm a little bit more rested up than before. And yeah, I'm just gonna clear the place out. Nothing too crazy, just a bunch of zombies dead, and I'll let you know when I'm done with it. Okay, we did a little bit of culling, but I am way too tired to continue the melee combat. Yeah, I gotta say, for the main zone area, I mean, there's a few pockets here that I forgot to kill. But other than that, it is extremely clear. Uh, we still have the residential areas to take care of, but I think we could finish that off pretty easily. At the very least, we did that, the, like the town center. There's no more zombies here. So I think this would be a good spot to end our very first episode on basically the kill everything challenge. So I guess I'm going to sleep inside this like apartment building up here. Yeah. Uh, and if you guys liked this video, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more to see more of Claudette's story. It's gonna be a crazy one, that's for sure. Anyways, peace the hell out, everyone.